brothers and sisters. Um, last uh, week was uh, we are so happy to congratulate Angel for winning the Miss Congeniality or Miss Friendship during the pageant for Miss Juniors to 2011 at City High. And for me, that is uh, a very uh, precious uh, uh, award because you you want for yourselves friends instead of opponents. And uh, uh, napapansin ko kasi kay Angel, uh, kinikwentuhan niya lahat ng mga contestants. And uh, yun yung point natin that uh, we need to communicate with people. Ang um, um, the devil kasi is trying to destroy our uh, good communication with others through miscommunication. There was a time also during our sa breves natin, napakalaki kasing grupo yung breves natin. And uh, pag may kumalat na misinformation, nagkakagulo yung, yung uh, grupo kapag hindi, hindi talaga based doon sa source yung, yung message o yung announcement. So ito yung, uh, this is the prevailing uh, wind that is happening in, in the world today that uh, people start to uh, be individualistic at nakakalimutan na nila makipag-communicate sa bawat isa. Maybe because of uh, too much internet and the internet is uh, living in a virtual world and sometimes we fail already to socialize with warm bodies, nakakalimutan natin makipag-communicate. That's why when you speak to young people, um, hindi sila makapag-communicate ng maayos and sometimes they cannot choose between uh, two choices. Lagi nilang sinasabi, okay lang, okay lang, okay lang. It means they are not making a stand. They are allowing themselves to be uh, um, uh, carried away by this uh, prevailing trend, which is not good because we, hindi na tayo uh, gumagawa ng sarili nating paninindigan. And uh, ito yung sinasabi ni Pope uh, Benedict XVI, the theory of relativism, that we already fail to discern what is good and what what is good and what is not good for us. Para sa atin, any of those, parang okay lang. Para sa atin, all of the above, if we answer a question. So, napakaganda ng sharing ni, Fa, ni, ni Bishop Carlita Sanzon during the anniversary uh, yesterday of uh, the or Thanksgiving ng John Hay Management Corporation. And uh, sinabi niya dito yung, yung infirmity of the times. Parang may sakit yung times natin ngayon or yung generation natin ngayon, parang may sakit siya that only God can cure. And if we recognize that it is our infirmity, and this is uh, something like uh, the problem of communication. Kasi ang nangyayari ngayon, um, we tend to argue. Ang tendency ngayon ng communication is argumentation and debate. Pagalingan tayo kung sinong mananalo, I can beat you with my words. I can put you down with my words and I'll be the winner. That's why kapag manunood tayo ng reality TV, uh, reality yung mga palabas sa TV ngayon, puro ganun eh. Ang mga judges will tell you what's wrong with you uh, as if they are, as if um, they are the, the sole judge of who you are and then na, hindi napapansin na nasatamaan yung, yung ano mo, self-esteem mo. And it uh, sometimes stick to you all through your life kapag hindi ka na heal. And what more kung hindi lang isang judge ang magsabi ng dalawa, tatlong judge. And we are already vocal in telling the wrong things about a person. And hindi na natin na-encourage yung tao. Kaya ang nangyayari, nagiging subjective tayo sa pagtingin natin sa bawat, isang, sa bawat isa. And nagkakaroon ng gap yun na hindi nare-reconcile. That's why we love to argue and debate, sabi ni Bishop, rather than uh, dialogue dialogue and understand. 
And uh, this is one way of the devil trying to destroy our communication with one another. And most especially our communication with God. If the theory of, of or the, the wind of relativism is happening, we don't need God actually. Kaya nga yung, yung New Age uh, thinking that lahat ay okay lang means um, we do not need God anymore. We already fail to recognize God in our life because we already decide for ourselves that anything that happens to us is okay lang. Because we look at, uh, we have already a different way of looking at things according to ourselves na not in the light of God's uh, righteousness. So that's the problem. I will tell you one story. Sa, sa gera, if a platoon or a company is in the war, makikita natin kapag napapanood nyo sa sine or sa TV that the generals are planning the war and usually they plan it sa headquarters and they communicate this on how the company, the battalion or the platoon move sa gera because kung ikaw ang nasa gera you cannot see the big picture of what is happening you are just in, you are in the battlefield and you are just waiting for commands kaya pag sa gera ang nangyayari um, ang unang ini-snipe ng kalaban or ina-assassinate ng kalaban yung radio man kapag kasi siya na-assassinate o nasira yung radio niya wala nang means Yung, yung platoon or yung company or yung battalion how to move in the war kasi ang pag-asa lang nila ang mata at tenga nila yung nasa headquarters yung mga generals doon kapag nasira yung communication they will start to disintegrate or lumalaban sila na hindi nila alam kung paano lumaban wala silang decision how to fight tactical means on how to do it because there's no communication they don't even know where the enemies are or how, that, how they will attack at the rain na nakikita ng mga nasa headquarters. So, the devil is doing the same thing with us. The devil is trying to assassinate us or to destroy our communication with God. Because God sees the big picture. We cannot see the big picture, but it is God through His Holy Spirit that guides us on how to move in life. If we cut this communication and what this... Anong, Importante yung communication ito, a life of prayer. Kung puputuli natin itong a life of prayer, we will slowly drift away. We think we are winning the war, but actually we are losing it. We may be winning battles here and there, pero sabi nga doon sa isang text, you don't have to win all the battles. You have to choose your battles and fight them well. Kaya kung wala yung guidance si God, parang siya yung nasa headquarters at gumagalaw lang tayo on our own, we become a lost command and we end up losing the war or losing our life or mabigat nito. God forbid, we lose our souls. And this is not what God intends to be in our life. Kaya nga, we report to Him. Thank God we are here every Monday to Friday to report to God through Vespers. We are praying. This is the way we establish our communication. Kaya we are actually uh, getting into the rhythm na pinalalakas natin yung prayer life natin. Let's not waste this chance or this opportunity for us to strengthen our relationship with God through prayer. Hindi lang dito sa Vespers, but all the days of your life, especially in your personal life. We establish, we establish as strong, um, open communication with God anytime, any moment. And God will readily inspire us, speak to us through people, through events, through inspiration. And then we will know what is good and what is right. At hindi lang tayo basta magsasalita if we are being uh, confronted with two goods na hindi natin sinasabing okay lang kahit ano doon. We should discern what is the will of God. Madaling i-discern if we are presented with evil and good. Alam mo kung ano yung good para sa iyo. Pero kung dalawang good na ang nakapresent sa atin, how will we discern this? How will we know? If any of those pareho namang okay, 
how will you decide on it? It is only through a strength and prayer, malakas ang solid prayer life natin, and God, and we ask God for the gift of discernment. So, the problem is, we always look for the easy way out. And sometimes, the will of God between two goods, yung mas mahirap gawin, usually, is the will of God. Because we are meant to follow our Master who has suffered before us. And if we, have, we are following a Master who is suffering, what more with us who are only followers? Will we not suffer also with Him? So that if we crucify our sins on the cross, let it die on the cross, then we will resurrect with Christ and live a life of eternity with Him. Amen.